Hey, how's it going? It's Sean Cooper here, the Shyness and Social Anxiety Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can overcome your self-consciousness. And the cure to your self-consciousness is actually for you to become more self-conscious. And I know that sounds a little bit confusing, so I'll explain what I mean in just a minute. First of all, where am I? Right now, I am in India in a city called Pune, and I'm spending a month at a meditation center here in India. And that's part of what inspired me to record this video for you, because uh, this meditation center was started by a guru, an Indian guru called Asho. And he was kind of special because he doesn't just teach um, passive like sitting meditation like he also taught active dynamic meditations because life is not a problem to be solved it is a mystery to be lived meaning at this meditation center here uh, i'm learning how to do all different types of meditations that involve movement and action for example meditations involving dancing a lot of that meditations involving yelling or screaming or shouting or jumping up and down. And here's what this has to do with self-consciousness. Uh, I used to be very self-conscious when I was dancing and learning how to do this type of dancing outside and inside here in the center taught me how to get over my self-consciousness while dancing. And one thing that helped me was something that this Indian guru Asho said, whatever you do, whether it's dancing or whether it's talking to somebody or whether you're walking down the street, whatever you do, do it totally. Be there totally because it's the only thing you could be doing at that time. So you might as well do it totally. So for example, Usually when people feel self-conscious dancing, their focus is split. Part of their focus is in the dancing and part of their focus is thinking about what other people think of their dancing. Uh, part, of the, part of their focus might be thinking about some problem in their life they need to solve and they're not totally there. They're not focusing on the music and because their attention is split it becomes very difficult to dance and i realized this as i was practicing you know doing meditation dancing at this meditation center that the more i could focus total totally in the dancing in the music and try to let go of other distractions the better I became at dancing, the less self-conscious or awkward I felt dancing. And I think you can also use this insight in your own life to overcome your self-consciousness. So now I'm just gonna look in my notes uh, a little bit. First, let's talk about what exactly is self-consciousness. Well, if you have shyness or social anxiety, then it's something that you've probably experienced personally many times, but maybe you've never really defined it for yourself. Uh, to me, self-consciousness is that awkward, icky, uncomfortable, uncomfortable feeling inside that you feel when you feel like other people are watching, judging, and analyzing every little movement you're making. So I'll give you an example. Back when I had really bad social anxiety, uh, even just walking down the street, if I was walking down the street in my city by myself, I would feel perfectly okay. I would not feel self-conscious. I would be relaxed. I would walk naturally. But as soon as I saw somebody else walking towards me down the street, I would instantly start to feel a bit self-conscious. And the closer that person got walking towards me, 
the more self-conscious I would start to feel. I started wondering if my arms and legs were moving okay. You know, I started wondering what the normal or socially acceptable thing to do was. So for example, the person is walking towards me. I start to wonder if I should look them in the eye or should I look off to the side somewhere or should I look around maybe, look around the street. What is the normal and accept acceptable thing for you to do? This is, I think is a big part of self-consciousness. You're trying to make all your actions appear normal and acceptable. And ironically, that makes you feel un uncomfortable, awkward, uh, you start to analyze all your actions and you actually start to look awkward and unnatural on the outside. That's what's ironic about, about self-consciousness. And if you think about it, self-consciousness works almost like a mirror. You feel self-conscious when you're trying to see yourself from the perspective of other people and trying to create a good impression on them. In fact, a better word for self-consciousness would actually be other consciousness. Because you only feel self-conscious when you're around other people, when you're conscious of other people watching you or judging you. You never feel self-conscious when you're by yourself, only when other people are around. So I think a better word for self-consciousness is other consciousness. And I'll give you uh, three examples of this. Have you ever noticed that you get self-conscious when someone starts taking a video of you? Or maybe you get self-conscious when you know your voice is being recorded, like on a, a voicemail message. Or maybe you get self-conscious when you walk past a mirror in public. All these examples reveal how self-consciousness is really more like other consciousness and how it works like a mirror when you're conscious of other people. So now we've talked about what self-consciousness is. I hope now you have a very good idea of what it is, how it feels like, what it tastes like. And now let's talk a little bit about how to overcome self-consciousness. And I'm gonna show you the cure for self-consciousness or at least a cure for self-consciousness. First, let me ask you a question. When you're walking around outside or when you're buying something in the store, what are you paying attention to? Are you paying attention to getting done what you need to get done or are you also paying too much attention to all the random people around you? The simple truth is that self-consciousness starts with the direction that you put your attention. So if you're paying too much attention to random strangers in your day, uh, then it's a sign that you care what they think of you too much. You, and your self-consciousness is revealing that you care too much about trying to predict and control what all these random people are thinking of you. That's why you put any focus on them. So how exactly do you fix this? Well, you have to learn how to redirect your focus. I found that I was able to lower my self-consciousness dramatically when I stopped paying so much attention to random strangers. I put them in the background of my attention and focused more on doing whatever I was doing in the moment. This is what I call my tunnel vision technique for overcoming self-consciousness. So le let me explain it to you like this. Have you ever watched a movie and have you noticed how in movies, the directors always uh, put the actors, the main character's face in a very sharp focus and the background is blurred out. You can sort of tell that something is happening in the background, but you can't make out every single person. Right? And the reason why movie directors do this is because they want you to pay attention to what matters, which is the main characters, the story, the plot of the movie. 
if everything in the movie was in focus, including all the little random background characters, then you would probably become distracted. And as a result, you might lose track of the story and that would be really bad. So that's why in movies, you know, you have the main characters in focus and the background is blurred out. The background is out of focus. So if you want to overcome your self-consciousness, then you should also mentally blur out the background of your life. Blur out all those random people that will never make a difference in your life. If you're buying something in a crowded store, try to imagine how you would act and what you would focus on if that store was empty. So if you were shopping in a completely empty store by yourself, what would you be paying attention to? Probably your focus would just be on the clothing or just be on buying whatever you, you came to the store to buy, right? That's where your focus would be. And now, even if there are people around, try to act in that same way as you would act if the store was empty. Another example, try to imagine how you would walk down the street if you're in a hurry. If you're in a hurry and you have some really big uh, event to get to and you're walking really fast, what are you paying attention to? If you're in a hurry, you're paying attention to getting to your destination. You're not paying attention to all these random people in the street, you just don't have time. So in the same way, even if you're just out for a casual walk, try to focus your attention in this way also. Try to imagine like you're just focused on getting where you need to go and this is really how most people actually live their lives. Most people are living in their own movie with very little attention and very little importance placed on the background actors in their movie. And if you're someone who often feels awkward or you feel self-conscious or uncomfortable when you're in public, then you should also become more like this. You should become more self-focused yourself, right? You should become more conscious of what you are doing. Become more self-focused, become more self-conscious. That's why I said the cure to self-consciousness is to become more self-conscious. Really, the cure to other consciousness is to become more self-conscious to become focused on what you are doing right now, right here. Don't allow yourself to mentally put any importance on them. And the way that you do this is by pretending like you're a movie camera and create a tunnel vision where these background people are blurred out. And by putting less focus on other people, you're placing your opinion of yourself over other people's opinion of you, which is a huge key to overcoming your shyness or social anxiety. And I'll just give you one last example to really hammer this home. Do you ever notice that you have a much easier time talking to somebody in a private room than in a public place? And do you ever notice how you have a much more difficult time carrying on a conversation in a public place? Well, it's because you have lost that focus on the person and now your focus is being distracted by all these other people who you uh, are trying to imagine how they are perceiving what you're saying, which makes you freeze up in public. This used to happen to me all the time too. I'd get overwhelmed and intimidated talking to somebody in a public place. I would have a much harder time, you know, keeping a conversation going. And the way that I solved the issue was, again, to uh, create that tunnel vision, to become more self-focused and conscious of what I'm doing instead of conscious of what other people are doing in the room. Put the person I was talking to into a very sharp focus. And this is what you should do as well. If you're talking to someone in a cafe or in a lineup, try to imagine like you two or you three are in a bubble 
and other people can't even hear you and this is going to make it much easier for you to carry on a conversation. So, finishing this up, whenever you feel self-conscious the next time, try to use this tunnel vision technique in your daily life. And the way that you do this is by becoming more focused, more into whatever action that you're doing or whatever you know conversation that you're having. Push those people out of your field of attention. Pretend as if they don't exist for a minute. And I'm sure that if you practice this technique in your life, over time you're gonna get better at it and eventually you're gonna feel less and less self-conscious in public, whether you're in a store, or whether you're, you're standing in a lineup, or whether you're trying to talk to somebody in public. Hopefully I can record some more videos, giving you some more updates of how I'm doing in India and all the cool new stuff I'm learning. If you want to learn more from me, then click the link below this video to go to my website, which is shynesssocialanxiety.com, and I'll talk to you again soon.